Hi, this is Michael from MVR Music Lessons, and today I'm going to explain the notes on the staff. For this lesson, I'll be using treble clef, since that is what most of you will want to be learning, but in my next lesson I'll explain some of the other common clefs as well. Uh, to tell what clef the music you're looking at is written in, just look to the far of the left. You should see a symbol that looks like one of these. The clef that we're going to talk about today is this one, the treble clef. This is the clef that most people first learn musical notes on when they take music in school. I think that just like piano, you shouldn't just remember one note and find other notes based off of that note, but when you're first learning where the notes are, that can be pretty helpful. So I'll give you a trick to find any note on the staff with the triple clef, but you should definitely try to get to the point where you just see a note on the liner space and know exactly what it is without having to think about it. Uh, the trick is pretty simple, and it'll apply to the other clefs later on as well. And if you look at the treble clef, it almost looks like a really strange G. And you, if you can't force yourself to see the weird G, that's okay. Just know that the treble clef is also referred to as the G clef sometimes. Uh, the reason this is important to know is because the lower part of the clef symbol appears to be circling this line on the staff. And that note is a G. This trick makes it easy to find and remember that one note, which will make it easier to find all the other notes until you have them all memorized. Once you find that note, you can go up or down the staff, and just like the notes on the piano, you can go up and down the musical alphabet. The only difference on a piano is we avoided the black keys because they were sharps or flats, but on the staff we include both lines and spaces as we go up, so you don't ignore anything. Here's the whole staff labeled in treble clef, so you can see what I mean. When you learn this in school, or when most people teach it, they tell you the white spaces spell face, and the lines have a little saying, every good boy deserves fudge. I don't like those methods, because it forces you to rely on that to remember notes instead of thinking about it musically in a scale. It separates the lines and spaces in your mind, when in music you don't want to think of them as a separate thing thing you want to think of them as a whole plus when you look at other clefts those rules won't apply the same way but the trick i showed you will you should memorize the notes using whichever method is easier and more comfortable to you but i definitely recommend doing it the way i taught you first it might be a little more work in the beginning to figure out what note is what but in the long run it'll be more helpful and make you a more versatile musician that's pretty much it for this lesson, so in my next video I'll go over the other common clefs, uh, the bass, alto, and tenor. If you want to see when that video comes out, make sure you're subscribed. Leave a like as well if you liked this video, and feel free to ask questions in the comments. Also, you might want to check out my website, mvrmusiclessons.webs.com. I'm actually working on a new and improved website right now as well, and you can get the link to that from my website. If you have a minute, it would be a lot of help if you could take the survey on the website as well to let me know uh, what you want to see in my new website. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.